Most of you here on YouTube know me as a REIT analyst. I run a small investment firm that specializes in REIT investing and that's where most of my capital is going. But not all of it. Diversification is the only free launch in the financial market and so I also diversify my portfolio by investing in other asset classes. Lately, a lot of you have asked that I share some of my non-REIT investments and that's what I'm gonna do in today's video. Hey everyone, this is Yossi. I'm a CFA charter holder, but not a financial advisor, so make sure to do your own research. In today's video, I'm gonna to talk to you about two of my largest dividend stock investments. But before I get into it, could you please do me a huge favor and click the like button. That really helped me a lot to grow this channel. Thank you so much for your support. So both of the companies that I'm gonna to discuss today are asset managers. The business of asset management is one of my favorites because it essentially allows you to participate in the returns of an asset class without having to put your own money on the line. You earn fees for managing capitals for others and so if you're able to convince other investors to let you invest for them, it can be a very lucrative business. It's highly scalable, it's capital light, the returns on investments are high and the fee income is very sticky. The best example of that is perhaps Blackstone which is the largest alternative asset manager in the world. It has been exceptionally rewarding for its shareholders since going public as it was able to rapidly grow its assets under management and it would charge high fees for managing this capital for their investors. But unfortunately, Blackstone is today very big. It manages over 1 trillion of assets and as a result, I think that its future growth is going to be quite a bit slower. But fortunately, it has some smaller peers that are growing a lot faster and some of those are today very opportunistic. And the first one that I want to cover here is called Patria Investments, ticker symbol PAX. Patria is essentially the Blackstones of Latin America. It is the leader in this region for private equity, credit, infrastructure, and real estate. It manages today about 30 billion. It's the leader in this region. It has a fantastic track record, a very good reputation. And therefore, as more investors turn to Latin America, I expect them to partner with Patria. And it just happens that I believe that Latin America is today very well positioned to attract foreign investments over the coming decade. There are many reasons for this. The first one is that Russia's aggression of Ukraine and China's no limit partnership with Russia as well as its own aggressive stance towards Taiwan has led to great uncertainty in Eastern Europe and Asia as a whole. Secondly, while Latin America isn't perfect, it has historically served as a safe haven during time of geopolitical uncertainty such as the Second World War or today with the big war in Ukraine as well as China's potential aggression of Taiwan in the future. As such, Latin America can offer valuable diversification benefits to investors today. Then thirdly, Latin America and also Central America are greatly benefiting from the growing trend of nearshoring. And then there are many other reasons. I'll put a slide on the screen to show you some of those, but the middle class is growing rapidly. The asset management sector is still very fragmented in Latin America. It's a very large consumer market. And so there are many reasons why investors would keep on pouring money in Latin America in the coming years. As a result of all of this, Patria is today enjoying very rapid growth and they expect to roughly double in size by 2025 and they expect this rapid growth in their assets under management to also roughly double their earnings per share. Best of all, they can achieve all this growth with very little capital of their own and as such they are able to distribute most of their cash flow in the form of dividends to shareholders. Patria has today the same dividend policy as Blackstone which is to distribute 85% of its distributable earnings in the form of dividends. As a result of this, their dividend is variable because they don't earn performance fees every year, but averaging this out, we estimate that the dividend yield in the coming years is going to be around 7 to 8%. I don't know about you, but I don't know any other company that's growing at this pace that's offering such a high dividend yield. And it gets even better. Because Patria is structured in the Cayman Islands, there is no withholding tax on the dividend, and as such, it allows foreign investors to participate in the growth of Latin American markets in a very tax efficient way. And then the final point I want to make about Patria is that it has zero debt on its balance sheet, it has significant liquidity, and as such, it's well protected from the recent surge in interest rates. If you want to learn more about Patria, please note that we recently interviewed their management team and published a report of it for our dividend newsletter, High Yield Investor. You can read this entire interview for free with our two week free trial. I'll put a link to it in the description of this video. And then the second company that I want to discuss here is called Blue All Capital, ticker symbol OWL. To stay on the same theme, this is also an alternative asset manager that's today experiencing rapid growth and has great prospects as a dividend stock. But Blue Oil has a different focus. 
It's not a specialist in Latin America, instead it's a leader in private credit, which is today experiencing rapid growth following the recent surge in interest rates. Like many other investors, I think that today could be a great time to allocate more capital towards private credit strategies because of the following reasons. For one, we have likely reached peak interest rates. For two, inflation is now cooling down. For three, we live in a very uncertain world. And then finally, the valuations of most equities are today quite aggressive relative to the level of interest rates. As a result of this, Blue Wall is today experiencing very rapid growth in their assets under management. I'll put a slide here from their latest third quarter results. I would add that this is nothing new. Blue Wall has a fantastic track record of growth in their assets under management as well as their fee income ever since going public. They've been able to grow their fee income by 40% per year on average because they have a fantastic track record, they have a very good reputation and then today's environment favors private credit strategies. The management has previously stated that their goal is to reach $1 per share of dividend income by 2025. That will put their current dividend yield at 7.5% and rapid growth will likely continue thereafter. Moreover, the management made it very clear on their recent earnings call that they are laser focused on dividend growth. Here's what they said. Dividend growth is our North Star. It reflects our pace of growth but also informs about the quality of the earnings underlying that growth and the confidence we have in the staying power of those earnings. It's a metric that captures all aspects of our business, including fundraising, deployment, revenue growth, embedded future earnings, and so on. And for that reason, it's one of the metrics that we think investors should be most focused on for us. I personally think that $1 per share by 2025 is a bit of a stretch, but even if they fall short of that target, the forward dividend yield is still likely 6 to 7% today. I would add that Patria has a very strong balance sheet with a triple B investment grade rating, an average debt maturity of 12 years, and as such, it also isn't heavily impacted by the recent surge in interest rates. And so just like Patria, I just don't know many dividend stocks that offer such a high yield with such a rapid growth prospects and such strong balance sheets. I believe that Patria and Blue All are set to replicate the exceptional returns of Blackstone of the coming decade, and this is why these are some of my largest dividend stock investments today. Their businesses have very strong qualities, they have fortress balance sheets, and they're able to grow rapidly even as they pay a high dividend. This is exactly the type of investment opportunities that we cover at High Yield Investor, which is my dividend newsletter. In case you want to access my entire dividend portfolio, feel free to join High Yield Investor for a two-week free trial. We're also currently offering a Black Friday sale. I'll put a link in the description of this video. And then finally, once more, if you could please click the like button. That really helped me a lot to produce this type of content for you. Thank you so much in advance and see you at my next one. Bye-bye.